Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, in this video I want to talk about uh, some sort of mapping uh, which can be useful uh, in case of uh, you are running uh, monitoring on the network equipment uh, which is having some interfaces. This can be a firewall appliance, a router, a switch and we want to monitor some interface. And uh, the thing is that sometimes there are some interfaces which is having uh, like a real IP address and uh, we care about to see this IP address inside the front end uh, directly with the item or directly with the trigger title. So in this video, I will talk about mapping, how to map this IP uh, address to the default uh, approach, which is interface monitoring. Uh, so this, uh, like everything is based on the discovery. I will open the front end. So here we are looking on the stock interfaces SNMP template, which is available in the 6.0. So this is very original version. And if we go inside the discovery section, network interface discovery, we have like a bunch of OIDs, which will be picked up and uh, it, will, it, it will analyze the JSON array to, to decide what kind of interfaces you want to monitor and, and uh, which you don't want to monitor. And uh, so here are a bunch of OIDs. I will put that in the notepad uh, over here. Uh, here. Uh, so this is the actual the ID. Uh, if we put some like replacement over here, uh, replace, then we can like see exactly like operational status is behind this one, uh, interface admin status is behind this OID and, and so on. So we want to add another dimension which will capture the IP address and uh, use together in, in all items or triggers. Uh, so currently we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we will add one more which will reflect IP address. But there, there is a big problem uh, that uh, this, uh, like this uh, last dimension we want to add is not having uh, an, uh, an index, uh, a really matching index. Uh, if we go back here, uh, we see index one, two, three, and, and so on. And now we have like another OID. So this one is really reflecting the IP address and the actual IP address is over here and the IP address is stored as an index. That's like absolutely different level. Uh, here we are storing like a normal index, but uh, but here it, it's an IP address as an index. But if you look closely in this picture, we can see some correlation. We can see some mapping like the value of the IP is the actual index. This is IP address, this is the index. And this index is matching over here with some interface which is currently uh, in the up state. And now we have another index, uh, eight, which is also in this uh, like first output. And the last one is one. So what we will do here in, in, this, in this video, we will look up what is the match for this IP address and uh, start to monitor everything uh, like it will shrink down the nodes we want to monitor currently we may possibly monitor all these guys but since we have visually only three IP addresses we can uh, like do the mapping and uh, like alter the stuff to to include the IP address so how to do that uh, and uh, uh, here uh, we will use JavaScript preprocessing and uh, the code is uh, over here and it's available also in the video description. And uh, so I will alter this uh, default interfaces template. Let's do that right now, uh, all templates and um, interfaces SNMP, open it, full clone. And this full clone will have like the name, I will include this uh, naming system to include that in the name and add. So what's next? Uh, so in the next step, I will open discovery rule, uh, open this magical discovery thing and um, include the pre-processing, uh, which I was talking about. So pre-processing, add, 
and uh, it's using JavaScript and I will grab this code uh, which will do the, the magical mapping, uh, put the code over here, uh, apply. So uh, currently it's this JavaScript is using the stock, the default stock template and uh, I, I need to include one dimension uh, at the very beginning. Uh, I will include this new stuff, uh, which is uh, uh, like this OID is missing, uh, which is reflecting the IP address. So I will include that at the very beginning and also the name will be like this guy. Uh, so I will copy this to clipboard, uh, open another notepad, uh, select here, uh, edit, uh, convert case, uppercase, uh, curly parentheses close, curly parentheses open, hashtag and after the comma will be the actual OID, uh, which is this one. And uh, put over here and now this will go in the template and uh, the template is here and at the very beginning I'm including just another dimension and comma. Uh, everything good. Uh, update. And uh, so what I did, I did insert new preprocessing rule, which will do the magical mapping and also another dimension, which will like query all the existing IP addresses. Uh, and one last step is uh, we want to include that IP address in the actual, in the items and in the triggers. And the fastest way to do that is uh, via the export functionality, export YAML, uh, export YAML, over here, uh, save as, uh, saving the file in the directory, and uh, I will open that in the notepad. And uh, I want to, uh, like, there, there is a, in the template, there is a thing which is called, um, like, every item, every trigger title will have this uh, thing, like, interface name and alias, and then some colon. So I will modify this guy and put just a little bit more. Uh, so I, I did copy this to clipboard, uh, open the notepad. So this is the actual template, control H for the replacement. Uh, I want to replace this guy with the same stuff, but after the comma, I want to also include the IP address. And uh, the name of the macro is, we can see that in the pre-processing, in, in our new template, pre-processing, open the JavaScript, we can see uh, there is a value IP address. This was never uh, a, a macro in the LLD, but now it is, uh, copy. Uh, and uh, let's copy full stuff, uh, copy cancel over here and inside the notepad uh, so it will be another dimension and paste and replace all and we see like replace it in 20 occurrences and this includes all item prototypes and all trigger prototypes uh, okay save the file and uh, the last step re-import the template uh, import choose file and uh, over here it's the template uh, i will like erase everything which is inside uh, the template and uh, like overwrite with the stuff in the notepad uh, import uh, let's check if there is any modification yes there is uh, import okay Okay, this is the new template, open discovery, open the items. We see now uh, we have IP address inside the item title. And uh, let's check the trigger prototype. We have some IP address in the title of the triggers. Okay, la last step, like test if this is working. Uh, so uh, what we will do, go to the host. Uh, I have here some dummy host. Let's erase that, uh, okay and create a new host. Let's go to the command line. So the IP address is this, and uh, I'm creating a new host with the SNMP interface. The community is public, and uh, the host groups, uh, it will be my name and templates. So uh, I want to include this, uh, my, new, my, my new work, and uh, let's call the host object as well like this is the test uh, okay so template is there and uh, that's it uh, 
the IP address 59 uh, and add. Okay, so uh, it's a new host. Uh, in order for that to work, uh, let's reload the cache of the server, reload, enter, going back to the front end, and now we can manually execute the discovery. Let's notice like this icon is gray at the moment, but if I click here, uh, select discovery, execute now, uh, I need to count till five, one, two, three, four, five, refresh the page and uh, nothing happens. Refresh the page again and the icon is green, which uh, is uh, meaning like uh, the host is reachable. And also 27 items, something got discovered. What is that? And if we open, uh, we see we have some items now, including the IP address in, in the item uh, name and also if we open like a sample trigger we can see the triggers are also including this IP address uh, all right that's it for this today I, I hope you find it useful if you find it useful please give it uh, this video a thumbs up and uh, till next time goodbye